good boy. So um, we are going to teach Ollie to do a chin rest. Now chin rest can be just a nice little trick. It can also be really good for handling procedures. So for example, if your dog can rest his chin on your hand while you look at his ears or eyes or whatever you need to do. Um, it can be also useful for, again, teaching the dogs the concept of duration. So what I'm going to do first to make sure Ollie understands what he's doing is I'm going to lure him um, to show him what I want him to do. So I'm going to present my hand and hold a treat just behind my hand. Good boy. So his chin is just sliding over my hand. Good boy. Good lad. So I would keep doing that until your dog's really quite confident with what it is you want them to do. Some dogs might be a little bit anxious, so you need to work through that anxiety first. Good boy. Um, so once they've understood what you want them to do using the lure, the next step would be to take away that lure. So I would do that by presenting my hand, but having the treat quite high up. Good boy. So we're detaching the lure from the behavior. So present the hand, good boy. The treat is visible, but um, not, not completely in reach for the dog. For some dogs who struggle with this, obviously this is a confident behavior for Ollie, but some dogs will struggle. And for those dogs, you might need to hold your treat. Just see how Ollie's a bit unsure what I'm asking here. So I'm good boy. I just gradually lowered my treat until he was certain. And then he did place his chin on my hand. Good boy. So I'm waiting for that firm feeling of his chin being in my hand before I then release the treat to him. Um, so you keep doing that. You will have to decide what height the treat needs to be for your dog. If your dog is not confident and a little bit confused by this behaviour still, then your treat will need to be lower. Good boy. If um, your dog is very confident, then your treat could be, good boy, all the way up here. Um, so once we've got our dogs confident with what they're doing, we can put, first of all, a cue to this behaviour, which is going to be chin. Yes. Chin. Yes. Chin. Yes. Um, and again, I'd want to make sure, before I start building duration, I'd want to make sure that my dog definitely understands what I'm asking him to do. Closer and closer to this bowl of treats here. So I would um, move my hand around. Chin. Yes. Chin. Yes. And I would want to see that my dog still manages to perform the behaviour, even if it's away from my body. So this is called proofing. I'm making sure they can still perform that behaviour, even though the cues or the appearance of it has changed slightly. Yes. You could also try it standing up. Boop, boop. Yes. Chin. Yes. Okay, so we have a dog who is confident with the behaviour of placing his chin on my hand. So now we're going to start building duration. Um, this can be ideal to just teach the dogs the benefits of duration. And if you have a scent dog, and you want them to start building duration on the passive indication, this is a skill that you really require. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start delaying my marker signal. Oops, freebie. Start delaying my marker signal by a fraction of a second um, and build it up slowly. Gin, one, yes. Gin, one, Chin, one, yes. And then I'll see if I can build build it up a little bit more. Chin, one, two, yes. Treat, back. Good boy. Chin, nah. <laughs> so we're getting a bit of a mix of 
um, just by going a bit more central to my body, Ollie's got confused again, thinks we're just doing um, pour, which we're not. Chin! One, two, three, yes! Great. Chin! One, two, three, yes! Treat. Good boy, Ollie. Um, so you obviously you can build it up from there. Um, once, like I said, you can use this for handling. So once your dog's nice and confident with the behaviour, chin. Good boy. So see how Ollie's not used to me doing extra stuff. I normally only use this for duration, but if I wanted to add in some distractions or some handling work, like me checking his ears, for example, chin. Chin. Good boy. That's something I'd need to practice. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Chin. Yes. And reward. So like with any behaviour, uh, like I said, I mainly do this with him to build duration and just teach him that concept of duration. With any behaviour, if we're building duration, we have to have a clear marker signal so we can clearly say to the dog, yep, that was it, you got it right, just there. Thanks very much.